Welcome back with Future Volcano of the Day, going with Villa Arica in Chile, Strata Volcano, um, 9,341 for elevation, currently with eruption warning slash minor activity. So more info, just going to tap onto this. Latest update came in the 17th of this month. Um, anyways, mildly, uh, tends to be mildly explosive, storm blowing activity, small lava lake in the summer crater. Um, eruptions dates, well, on this list, dates from 2012 all the way back to 1558. As you see here, it's been erupting all the way up to 2020. Anyway, snow-covered Villarica, one of Chile's most active volcanoes, rises above the lake and town of the same name. It erupts basaltic lava and is one of the few permanently active volcanoes in the world, with frequent Strombolian activity and sometimes a lava lake present in its summer crater. So, prepare for a large list of eruptions in the past, as I'm assuming that's what's going to show. Um, but yeah. Um... No recent earthquakes, despite the constant activity. Um, but anyways, the volcano known as um, Ruka Pilon, uh, Mat uh, Mapuche word meaning House of the Pilon, is the westernmost of three large stratovolcanoes that trend perpendicular to the Andean chain along the Gaster Fault. The volcanic edifice was built of the at the rim of two overlapping calderas, one six kilometer wide caldera forming about 10,000 years ago, and a second two kilometer wi wide caldera about 3,500 years ago. The volcano is located at the northwest margin of the older caldera. More than 30 scoria cones and fissure vents dot Villarica's uh, flanks. Planinian eruptions, so this thing's capable of have, having planinian eruptions. And pyroclastic flows um, that have extended up to 20 kilometers, or about 12.4 miles from the volcano, have been produced during the past few thousand years. Lava vent, lava flows up to 18 kilometers long have issued from, from the summit and flank vents. Historical eruptions documented since 1558 have consisted largely of moderate, mild to moderate explosive activity with occasional la lava effusion. Glaciers cover 40 kilometers, no, 40 square kilometers of the volcano. Hazards from Villarica include massive lahars, mud flows caused by melting snow, melting of snow and glacier ice, as well as rainfalls, such as during the eruptions of 1964 and 1971, when large lahars damaged towns on its flanks. Villarica, along with K. Uh, uh, Trupilon and the Chilean portion of Lannan are protected with Villarica National Park. Ascent, accents of the volcano, no, ascents, I won't say ascents, um, of the volcano are popular with guided, with several guided ascents reaching the top during the summer. Um, no satellite imagery, despite this being a very active volcano. Now keep in mind with this melting uh, snow and glacier, um, with climate change, that's an also another potential threat with the horrors as the ice will just melt with it warming. But eventually with climate change, that will no longer be a threat as it will no longer be ice. Um, anyways, <coughs> um, this is no um, large thing there. Uh, okay, VA not detected, so more infos if at all possible. There's some T, there we go. Not detected. Um, uh, yeah, not identifiable from satellite data. Um, and then there's this one. There was an explosion in, on the 7th, though. So, yeah. We'll get to that one after this. Just pause if you want. And here we go. Moderate explosion. Um, so, yeah. Occasional explosions of the volcano continue on December 5th at 6.44 p.m. local time. The Volcano Observatory, Sir Ned Geoman, 
recorded a moderate explosion associated with the long period LP earthquake and ash plume rose 524 feet or 160 meters <coughs> above the summit and drifted south southeast and caused fresh ash deposits on the snow cover visible in the set in the images the small lava pond continues to be active in the interactive vent there's a 500 meter exclusion zone around the main crater in place so yeah links will be in the description box below stay safe see you in the next video bye